So uh, now uh, I'm going to uh, tell you about the certification pattern that uh, Cisco has changed in uh, 2020 February onwards. Um, so we have released almost uh, um, 23 batches in this uh, pandemic uh, time. Um, so all are online and uh, we were able to give the labs also for all the online classes. And uh, labs, we use uh, TeamViewer or uh, um, some other uh, application to log in remotely to the labs. Um, we will be working on all the devices uh, only, not on simulators like the way. So those racks that are set up there uh, are based majorly um, for the classroom uh, things. Okay, uh, the same uh, setups will be there uh, for your uh, lab practice also. So uh, you can work on the labs and before you start the lab, the way we are shooting the video right now, similarly we will show you, uh, not a uh, uh, show, uh, video, uh, video uh, show, shoot video, we will show you in live um, all the devices, how we are connecting, what are the series of routers, that's how you know, the lab process goes. Classrooms anyway online and uh, via Zoom we are taking the classroom. So coming back to the certification process that uh, Cisco has changed uh, uh, from Feb uh, 2020, it's been like a good number of uh, uh, months and uh, years. So um, we are confident uh, with the new setup. We have already we have also uh, done the CCIE training on the new syllabus. That's about you know from what uh, Mohan is offering. Um, coming back to the certification pattern. Um, so CCNA is basic uh, for any kind of uh, for, uh, no, uh, uh, knowledge acquisition on the networking domain. So you want to work in the networking domain, you have to do a CCNA, you have to be a CCNA. So doing the course is not enough, you have to do the certification exam. So there is another video where we talked about you know, um, what are the certification costs and you know, how to go about with the study material and how to prepare and all. From our side, uh, yes, during the classroom or during the labs or uh, every Friday we schedule it for uh, exam preparation and uh, um, uh, how to deploy the knowledge in the production environment. So we go with the live uh, demonstrations, you know, um, so for uh, uh, for teaching. So uh, just first try and understand what is that, the change that Cisco has incorporated in the new uh, certification pattern. So earlier we have uh, CCMA and we have CCNP and we have CCI. So in CCNA there are multiple flavors. In CCNP whatever flavors that are available in NA are there for CCNP also and for CCIE also the similar method was there. But now what they did was they don't have this pattern like multiple flavors pattern here one single pattern that is CCNA 200301. So every certification will have a number and that number is important. Okay, Whenever you are saying that hey I have done CCNA certification, you should be talking about the number what I have written there. So that is the first step. In this Earlier also there were 27, 29 topics, but now also 27 topics. They deleted something, they added something. Majorly, they have consolidated all the technologies that are available in the networking domain currently. So the major guidelines would be you fundamentals of like IP addressing and OSA plus subnetting. These are still there. This you cannot even eliminate those things because. Without that information, you don't understand the, it is actually the spine of networking, okay. Then after that, the major uh, topics that you have is routing, routing to the advanced level, like P OSPF are not there, but, yeah. So, BGP and EAGRP are not there. OSPF is there. But we during the lectures talk about 
even the RIP version 1. We are talking about it because we are trying to build the routing perspective. Okay, so subject topic wise, this is what you have, but what we are teaching, we talk from static routing to all of these things a little, little, little bit so that you know you will have that proper routing logic. Then we have switching to the advanced level. Okay, it's not only VLAN, inter VLAN, we talk about all the management protocols also and uh, all the uh, technologies that are involved on in the switching till L3 level. Okay, so we already have these things. So, some are added, some are added, some are deleted. That is one point. Then, <coughs> that access list, NAT, Telnet, these are still there. Okay. Earlier also it is there, now also it is there. Concept wise, not much of uh, increment, but uh, all of them like DNS, DHCP. Uh, all these things will be covered. Why we are doing, even though they are covered, we do it in depth again. Because for you to understand the concept of ASA or any firewall that is available in the market, this is your base. So we go elaborate on that. And then ASA firewall is not part of the syllabus, but still we are showing it, demonstrating it, talking about it in the CCNA level. Then you have, this is all about wired communication, then you have wireless communication. Here also description is what they said, but still we are going with the configuration, demonstration and practicals also in these things. So labs wise I think you will not be working much on the uh, APs and all those things, but then we will have, we will give you a one overview of all these components in the classroom and anybody is interested to work, we are okay to uh, give you the labs also, okay. Then QoS, this is also majorly discussed and also it is important for the next levels also, okay. Then after that, the most talked about addition is automation. So automation, when it is coming to automation, um, what is happening is everybody is concerned that uh, do we have to do programming. So it's not that you know networking engineers are not expected to do any programming or anything, uh, but um, with the new addition, you should understand how the scripts are written, how the uh, what are the languages that uh, being supported for the networking devices of course uh, you see those devices majorly when we uh, develop a protocol or when we develop a system or a mechanism we have to have programming on it but the field is different but now they have introduced automation because uh, um, now you know how the function uh, on the devices so for if you have to uh, execute a command like, you know, if the, that many number of routers or devices are there, if you give show IP route or uh, uh, show IP route, basically if you want to give that, there is so much of information that is displayed there, okay. So, that's, that information is not required at that moment, for us when, uh, when we are executing the command, we need crisp inputs. That can be uh, manipulated by using optimization. So a, a network engineer, if they are able to understand the script for what it is written, uh, the keywords, the structures and all, then that is enough for uh, your optimization uh, perspective. Uh, in the exam, you are getting good number of questions of this. So this is about a, a fairly uh, broader perspective of the uh, CCMA. Okay? This everybody has to do. If you do this, then you can actually set up a network, you can uh, um, troubleshoot basics of networking. So, uh, first step is learning the CCNA. So, if you are already a CCNA, then what, right? 
So that old CCNA version is expired now, you cannot take the exam. So earlier having a CCNA is also mandatory to write second level exam. But now that is not the case. So whether you give the exam or not is your choice. Who should give, who should not give is, if you are starting, start from here. If you are already um, working in the domain, certification is not important but again knowledge is important because a older version of CCNA you have done bits and pieces of these things and totally no on this friend. So these are all important for you to get into the next level. So that is why if you are learning part everything is mandatory but certification part you can skip this one if you are already working. So now the new system is you have of course we are going to uh, uh, publish a template uh, there uh, when you are watching the video so you can um, do it but if you are able to see uh, fine. So CCNA then you have core and then you have concentration these are the uh, three levels uh, that they have and under core you have different flavors. So N core is one flavor, S core is another flavor, like that there are other flavors. You have collaboration here, other one is data center and uh, something else is there so you can uh, see the template for that. This is voiced based thing, for this this is required. For this, this is required. For this, this is required. For this, this is required. So everything requires the background of this. Okay. So this is called a prerequisite. So next step is you can uh, do the code, and then in that code there are multiple flavors. This is considered to be CCIE theory paper. So here also we have theory and lab, right? So this is a theory paper. So if you do, you can do directly theory paper. Core paper, core level you can directly do. If you have this knowledge and acquire this knowledge, then you can do that one. Concentration, under every con concentration of these flavors, there are some three to six papers, basing on which one you are choosing. So if you want to become a CCNP, then one core paper and one concentration paper will give you a CCN. My personal requirement, uh, 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 recommendation is because I am in this field for 25 years. Okay, So I started as a um, coding person and then I moved into the networking. So my uh, take here is, uh, it's an six, uh, three to six papers is an elaborate process unless and until you know you are in that domain and client is asking you for that kind of uh, skill sets you don't need to get in here the best way uh, to get your dream job is majorly you learn ccna write core paper and go to if you have money and time spend another six months more and then attempt CCIE lab. Okay, so that completes the circle. So CCNA for IE. This gives a good bounce on your resume, and uh, freshers also can go directly to this one. And uh, there is a notion notion that you know, um, unless and until you have a work experience or uh, Practical knowledge, uh, like you know, practical knowledge means uh, uh, on the uh, production environment, you cannot uh, go for IE and all those things are there. But uh, no, that was old uh, days. Now, because there is availability like this, now we have so many devices. Like you know, over this uh, uh, 25 years of your uh, of our career, we have procured around 150 devices in our institute. So you, they are all capable of uh, running the CCIE labs. So practice more 
and then you will be able to reach the goal. Practically almost all the subjects will have labs. So this is about the certification uh, pattern and in another video we talked about uh, um, the cost of certification and the material for study. Uh, you can go through that video. This is about certification and uh, social media. Thank you.